Okay. Hi there. Um, I was asked by Delusional Knitter, hi Angela, to make a video showing how I spin uh, my Rolex, I call them sheepy shells, you can find them in my shop of course, how I spin them without squishing them in my hand. Um, as you can see right here, this is kind of the secret. I let it hang out of my hand for the most part. Um, for anybody wondering, this is a Mirkwood spindle, Mirkwood Arts on Etsy, and they're fantabulous. Uh, this is the Celetibor uh, model, but they're all wonderful. Anyway, basically, as I'm spinning, as much as possible, I just let that uh, roll lag or faux lag, I'm not sure. I, I think the deal is that if you make them on a blending board, they're called faux lags, as in fake roll lags. I don't think it matters that much, personally. But anyway, I let it hang as much as I can, and I do my spinning and adjusting and all that kind of stuff um, without actually holding the roll lag. Can you see that, Elise, on this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the fibers, even as they're getting thinner, they still pretty much grip each other. And doing it this way, I've not had one just suddenly fall off. So I think it's a pretty good system to make sure that <clears throat> that you're not squishing the roll lag and, you know, getting it all warm in, in your hand and then uh, mashing all the fibers together. So. If I find that, you know, it's just too heavy or it's just not all that, oops, whoops, I let that go, uh, not all that comfortable to work with, then I'll go ahead and just tear off part of it. And that, of course, makes it lighter. So I'm spinning, winding it back on. Drawing it out. Drawing it out some more, but as, like I said, I think I've said it a bunch of times, so forgive me for repeating myself, as much as possible I don't hold the roll lag in my hand at all. I just try to let it hang, and then um, that thing I like about doing it this way too is that as I see places where it's gotten a little too thick, then I can just let that hang and I can go back and untwist and tug them apart and then re-spin to add some twist to it, and then just go back. If I do have to hold it in my hand, I try to only use my pinky finger and just barely, I have hardly any grip at all on it. Um, I think at no time am I actually holding on to it tightly like this. Okay. So, ooh, goodness, I keep doing that today. Uh, if you have any other questions or if there's any other, if anybody else has questions and if there's anything that you would like to see how I, how I do it, um, you know, as maybe starting with a leader as opposed to just starting with the fluff or anything else that somebody watching might have questions about with supported spinning, let me know and my videographer Elise and I would be more than happy to uh, do a video for you. All right. Thank you. Bye.